Chat, I could go for a holo like this. I, a holo like this, I could go for something like that, for sure. Ooh, that looks good. Uh, just, just a hot dog, no toppings, nothing. Just, just, just bread and glizz. Chat, just bread and glizz on... What? The everything sweet one, I'll twist the end on. You got one hot, one sweet, two chili cheese, and then you want two chili cheese and potatoes? Got you. Two chili cheese, not too bad. Season four of Succession is pure cinema. You have to keep watching it. But dude, I really am right about the, about the intro song. I, 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 chat. I think I'm on something about it. It's gotta be inspired or something, no? Yesterday, Discord was in the holiday spirit, feeling particularly quirky with a silly, goofy mood. Yo. They decided to make an April Fool's Day video about how loot boxes were coming to Discord. A big old joke. But the joke ended bad up being on takes, YouTube itself because Discord takes, inadvertently created the most potent viewbot YouTube has ever seen. Right now, the 17-second Discord short is at 628 million views with 53,000 likes and 5,200 comments. So you can tell something's a little fishy there. Something's gone awry. That's a ton of views and not much engagement. This video has now set the record for most views in 24 hours, and it's an unbreakable record. I think even if Jesus Christ rose from the ground right now and started vlogging his experience about what heaven is like, there wouldn't be 600 million people that clicked on that video in 24 hours. It wouldn't even come close. It probably wouldn't even beat GTA 6 in 24 hours, which had like 100 mil in 24. This is an True. unbeatable record now because of Discord's accidental view bot that they implement. Unless, unless Apple put a video embedded into like text app or something like that, then GG. Discord's April Fool's Day prank was like a fucking Manhattan project for YouTube. They created the nuclear bomb for the platform that cost them a ton of money and just obliterate their AdSense. Like, I'm very curious how much money this video made. It's only 17 seconds, so it's not getting like a ton of of like RPM or anything, but still, with that many views, that's probably still like at least 50, 60 grand, I would imagine. But the most substantial hit to YouTube here is the infrastructure, what? where they have to feed 600 million views to video to a video that no one is actually watching, thus, they're not really making anything on. Yeah, but it's also still 17 playing, seconds though? in the first place, which again, isn't something they make a lot on anyway. So it's just costing YouTube a ton of money just hosting a video that's getting that amount of traction from what is fundamentally fake views. So how did Discord do it? And are they going to jail for this criminal action? Of course not. To tackle the, the first question here, I'll turn to this series of tweets from Marvin. Discord managed to create a working YouTube viewbot in 2024 by playing their loot box announcement trailer on loop in the background of the in-app toast. Guys, guys. Everybody does this. This happens all the time on a lot of websites, a lot of platforms. Okay, chat. It's what it is. It's j every guys. If they take action on this one, it's just because they're just result-based dog shit stupidity. If you're mad about this, go against the, the actual thing of embedding it, not just one guy doing it because they didn't had too many views. Guys, that's like being it. Chat, that's like being okay with bank robberies under fifty thousand dollars of ro of robbed. Like, I'm like, yeah, you're fine. Rob, are you robbed the bank? Was it 50k? Oh, you, you shall just, it, just, just, just go deposit it, you're fine. When like, asked what? to break the magician's code and reveal what the in-app toast was, Marvin explains that it's the little pop-up in the bottom right of your Discord app. So as I understand it, since the video was embedded in Discord itself and looping, anyone who was just normally using Discord over the last 24 hours was accidentally contributing to this monstrous view count here for the video. Another Twitter user said that they could have sworn YouTube embeds that autoplay don't give the embedded video views, and Marvin explains that they actually do. From my own research, embedded video views do actually count to the view count, but he assumed that YouTube would dedupe the view count later, which it doesn't seem like they have yet. Chat, or chat, I think like Nike does this, like a bunch of other brands do this on YouTube. Chat, I think most sports clothing brands all do this. Uh, they embed on, on some shit. Um, chat, um, Red Bull does this to a crazy amount. A lot of, their, a lot of, the, uh, of, of the videos from like their ads or whatever, uh, fucking... Uh, um, Red Bull, they have like a, a gazillion views and nobody watches them. There's no sign it's, if they ever it's embedded will either. It also seems the top brass at Discord didn't know that this would happen. This all seems to be a happy little accident here. Here's one of the higher ups at Discord expressing. Oh, no, it doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it does. Hold on. Red Bull. I don't think I'm wrong, I'm wrong about this. Like, like, like. Like a, like a. Um... 
I'm too lazy to look at it, to be honest. In their confusion, how the fuck is this video getting so many views? Unable I'm too, to I'm recognize too lazy, I'm too lazy. that in the pursuit of science, they may have gone too far, playing God. They were blinded by this insatiable appetite to create the ultimate April Fool's prank. They only asked if they could, never if they should. Their creation became too powerful. I'm sure many of you remember Wumpus, God rest his soul. He used to Who? be the face of Discord, the head honcho, the man in charge, the puppeteer behind the curtains pulling the strings. That was back when Discord still leaned heavy into dank meme culture, so every time you open the app it just blasts you with cringe, like, need to construct additional pylons to overflow our meme capacitors. All your base or belong to us. Cam, okay, yeah, he's being so cynical, chat. And all that is fine, who cares? Guys, guys, it's a gaming app that wants to stay gaming related, okay? It's, I think that's perfectly fine. Tee hee hee. Zoinks. And don't even get me started on what guys, would happen if you made- Hardstone does the same thing, dude. Like, like, fucking, like, whenever you load it in, it had a bunch of, like, stuff, whatever, like- The mistake of filing a or, support um, ticket. The queue, the you queue. Had to communicate with Wumpus's lobotomite sidekick, the same type of thing. Springle, the mystical fairy elf, who did nothing to solve your problems. It was just like one Discord employee who really liked to LARP and roleplay. So you'd give them your problem that you want help with, and they just kind of beat around the bush in like the silliest ways ever. Like, oh, this is a very alarming problem. I'm going to get to it right now. Let me contact the hype conductor over here at the HQ, and we'll see if we can get to it. Then they get back to you like a day later, like, hmm. Unfortunately, there was nothing we could do about it. Our Chaos Emeralds weren't powerful enough to solve your problem, but hopefully you enjoyed our conversation anyway. Toodaloo, cobbleaboo, that kind of stuff. Or, no, he used to say, Chat. uh, crinkle. He used to be like, crinkle cum. No, it wasn't, crink it wasn't crinkle cum, but he used to say something like that, like, crinkly dinks, something. Just spitting gibberish jolliness at you. And it was kind of charming Chat. and cute, but obviously very kind of embarrassing. So they ended up retiring that what is... and rebranding to be more serious as the app grew in popularity. But back then, they used to blame all of the problems that happened at Discord on Wumpus. If there was an outage, they'd say, whoops, Wumpus seems to have tripped over the power cord at Discord. How clumsy of Wumpus. Can everyone say, oh Chat, this is a yap of hell, Chat. What is going on? Wumpus with a hashtag underneath this tweet, that kind of thing. So I've got a theory that this was a Wumpus original. He reared his ugly head from behind the curtain once again at Discord, and his influence was felt in a big way here. Like a poltergeist, a spirit that was haunting Discord. They must have got the Ouija board out and accidentally summoned Wumpus, and he created this. This big view bot. Now, they have changed it so it no longer just autoplays and loops in everyone's Discord like some kind of parasitic infestation on there or anything. Now, you have to go out of your way to view it. And I am curious if YouTube's going to do anything about it, or if, if they even could, if they wanted to. Like, how do you just get rid of a bunch of those views? Like, how, like is there a way for them to see on the back end which ones were oh, I just them. autoplay looped? I imagine there must be. Uh, but that's about, that's about all the, for, the, um, for, the, for that. Um, what else, chat? Dude, dude. Hold on. Guys, the sun that is, is out. It's gonna bug my eyes out. Hold on. Wow. Hold on. Done. What else?